Well, uh, rest in peace, Trouble. Rest in peace. He uh, he just got killed. What's what's interesting is that it's very similar to the story I told you about on your show. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Being at a girl's house, having an ex-boyfriend yeah. show up. I was very lucky to get out of that situation alive. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like... It, it was a very high probability, like the, the, the level of violence that occurred that night, there was a very high probability. I, I'm actually surprised that, that both of us survived right. that, that situation. So, so that situation very much triggered me. And, you know, I think the moral is, is that it's very dangerous to go and stay at a woman's house that you don't fully know because you don't know who else she's dealing with at the time. Unless that is your wife, or that is someone you're in a long-term relationship with, you should probably just go get a hotel room. Damn, Vlad, you gotta, you gotta marry it to spend the night. A girl that you're casually I don't seeing. No, that's kind of great. All that's, right. That's your wife. No, I dig what you're saying. All right. I, I dig you, you what you're saying. You, want, but, you know what I'm saying? But, but nah, bro. Nah. All right. You it, want to meet a girl and go, that. you want to pick up a girl at a club and go to her house afterwards? I think Not knowing who the hell's around, a baby father, a boyfriend, uh, you know. Right. If you if you picking up one nighters and you see what I'm saying, I don't I don't know I don't know the extent of the relationship crazy. that that trouble had with this particular female. Right. You know, like she's spoken about it, and I guess people were saying that she set him up, so she had to like address that. It didn't seem like a setup. Right. But you know, she had a guy who either lived there or used to live there who basically showed up, forced his way in, and in the process, Trouble gets shot in the chest and dies. Because I guess Trouble was like sleeping naked in the bed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and this whole thing happened. Mm. It, it's, it's not, I, I think a lot of dudes just try to be cheap. It's a lot cheaper to go to a girl's apartment than to go get a hotel room. But it, it's definitely not a safe by any stretch of the imagination. You think, I think about what you're saving. You're saving on a hotel? You might be saving on breakfast. Okay. And you might be not saving on your actual life. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm but, saying? Uh, but it, I mean, as someone who's I, gone I through, think, as someone who's people, gone through People it. need to be real. Like, like, if you know you got a crazy nigga that's popping up in your crib, the fuck is you inviting people over for? Do you really know that someone's crazy enough to go and kill the person that you're with? You don't always know that. Until it happens, right? Until it happens. But you get signs. You know, you're not, you're not you dating, get signs. You're not dating a murderer most nah, times. You, you get signs. You think that was the first time he did that? Probably the first time he killed somebody. But it wasn't the first time he just popped up and tried to force his way in, right? Who knows? It's all, it, it'll come out in the investigation, obviously. Was that her boyfriend or was that her ex? Hard to say. It had, it, it's still, you see what I'm saying? But, but what it was established was that the two of them had a relationship. They knew each other. And the man who did the murder did not know trouble. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Whereas she did know trouble and trouble was not there, you know, forcibly raping her or anything else like that. You see right. what I'm saying? She took him home. They had sex. And, and then homeboy popped up. Homeboy popped up. You know, the story's a little murky. The, the dude is actually a, a rapper. He used to be part of Brick Squad. Oh. Yeah, he used to be like affiliated with uh he was slightly affiliated that's with like, Waka Flocka. Like double shot. Oh, you cheating on me and this with a popping rap. With someone who's been more popping than I am? <laughs> what? Yeah. You've been playing his music for months, bitch. <laughs> in the car with him, you're like, ooh, I love this song. And I oh, know yeah? you fucking him. Oh, that's the worst. Uh, that's it's the terrible. Worst. Like, like I'm dating chicks who who they're like baby fathers or whatever are like battle rap fans of mine. And it's weird. It's always weird. Yeah. Because they end up hating me. Right. When before it was like, yo, math, right. math is the shit. Like, yo, he used to tell me, yo, we used to watch all of your battles. Now the nigga's like, fuck that nigga. You with that nigga right now. It's terrible. Hey, man, it, it's, it's hard. Like, if you're a guy and, and a girl, like, upgrades you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Upgrades like, on you. Uh, upgrades on you. You know, and, and the dude that she fucking with got way more money and way more popularity. And but, but that, you know that, what I mean? That's something like, I don't understand. Like, like, what are you doing? You're doing something wrong. Yeah. Like eventually, doesn't everybody realize, oh, there's rules to this game. Okay, all right. You're supposed to have money. 
All right, you're supposed to be successful. Well, all right, cool. What am I doing sitting here trying to love on this chick and I haven't done shit with my life yet? Why am I sitting here doing this shit? Right, listen, in the, in because the, then another nigga's just going to walk in the room right. who's fucking all the bitches and everybody knows he's fucking all the bitches and she's going to like him because he's fucking all the bitches too. Right. And and he's he's got money. And, and he's, he's got he, money. He's successful. Whenever 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 whenever, whenever you with, she's with him. He's paying for everything. Right. He's putting her. You know. And but, the, the, you know he, I think I got a good girl. I think I got. I think, oh yeah, she loved me and I'm broke. <laughs> Listen. In what the, the fuck? In in the in the words like, of nah, in the words of the legendary case lay rest in peace. I remember he said, "Ladies, if you're in a relationship and you're financially struggling, you're really single." Because if you had a man... Oh, don't do that shit. Don't do that. I'll see what you see. She back there talking about it. Uh -huh. Nah, don't do that shit. That's fucked up. But. It's true. It's true. All right. All right, cool. Because it, it works both ways. And when you run into that guy who got the bread and you ain't got it, you're going to be doing a lot of shit you never thought you'd do before. True. You got to pull your weight. It's a relationship. You guys are relating to each other. Right. Right. And if you can't, you know, I'm rich. You can't really relate to me unless you do this. Or, or, or <laughs> maybe, <laughs> or maybe that woman says, yo, like you're rich and you're doing really well. I'm going to support you to keep you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to center, right. center to the point then, that to, to make sure that you're not worrying about a lot of other shit that you're, fo you, you get to right. focus on what it is that you you're gotta, really you good be at. Adam. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, Adam. maybe she notices that maybe your finance, you know, that you make all this money, but your finances are kind of fucked up. So right. she steps in and helps out with the finances. Right. I, I've had those types of relationships mm -hmm. with women. You know what I'm saying? Or, mm -hmm. or like sh she becomes the person, you know, that, you share your problems with and keeps you, you know, from flying off but, but the handle. Either and so way, forth. there's some something being provided exactly. that gives you value. Exactly. It's not pussy. It's definitely not pussy. Right. People talk about your good pussy, good pussy. Man, if you know what you're doing, all pussy's good. Right. Unless, you know, the, 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 you know, the hygiene ain't right. <laughs> if you know what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they sell lubricant and shit. If it's if it a little, you know, you good. You know yes, what I mean? Right. The, 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 that good pussy shit is a myth. I, would, I wish women would just stop. Like, yo, no, that's, that's right. Not, and it's also it's based on attraction at the end of the day. Yeah. It's you based could have, on, you could have an amazing pussy and the person is just not physically attracted to you. They're just not physically attracted to you. What is amazing pussy, bro? Like, for, you, you've had your share. I've had I've, my I've share. I've had my share. What exactly is amazing? But like, what's amazing, bro? Like, what's, what does it do? Well, can anybody describe? Well, all right, you gonna put me on the spot. All right, all the pressure's on us. Not necessarily. No, all the pressure is on us, bro. If we don't work, nothing's happening. <laughs> so we gotta. We, we're the ones with the good stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you can do. But you look, look, man. Like the, the, there's nothing you. Gotta, I could, I could gel you down and bow. Good pussy. You know what I mean? But for right. us guys, like we really gotta be right. But but certain women you don't have to gel down. I'm just saying. Yes, there's certain women you so, don't. So, That's true, uh, right? So, so I, I would put that pussy slightly higher than the gelled up pussy. Yeah, but you don't know you if she's gelling it before she comes to see you. This is true. Yes, you're right. You're right. Women do that. <laughs> <laughs> women do that. <laughs> How you thinking? Things? This is the best in the world. Oh God damn! I just touched it and it was. Nah, nah. Hey, you should take care of that before she got yeah, you. Yeah, find that bottle in the, you know what in the bathroom. Like, oh, okay. They got pills they can take now and shit. They should. <laughs> listen, man. They, 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 listen, I think all, all the pressure's on us. We should be the ones being praised for what we got. Right. Period. And men do get praised for that, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, penis is definitely not as valuable as pussy when it comes to the world. You know what I mean? This doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But, but you know it's true. You know what I mean? You don't see male prostitutes walking around with women picking them up constantly. Right? That's true. But no, no, that happens. It happens. It happens. Females that got guys living in a crib doing nothing <laughs> all day. Those are the prostitutes. Yeah. Those are the prostitutes. Yeah, I, call, so. I call it a... Uh, hobosexual. Yeah, hobosexual. Hobosexual. A hobosexual. There's bad is hobosexuals someone, is out someone there. Someone who is, who is homeless, who's living with a woman...
and having sex in the no, first place to stay. You used to be a homosexual. I okay, a homosexual. I ain't keeping it with I was never a homosexual. I was never a homosexual. There is nothing like broke nigga dick. <laughs> There's nothing like it. I'm telling you. Cause you're fucking I got money now. So you I, are I, fucking I with no you're fucking with a purpose. I, yo, yo, once I started like making like real money, I was like, damn, my sex game is kind of it's well, not it's, it's kind of what it used right? to be. <laughs> it's not what it used to be. I just don't feel the need <laughs> to go four hours anymore. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, well, when you broke, you need some place to live, nigga. You got the Jodeci playing, nigga. The candles is lit. <laughs> You, and then, like, the, when you got her like this, <laughs> she's falling off. She's just she's making space in the closet for you and shit. No, I mean, no, I did that a lot, bro. I did that a lot. Hobosexual. Hobosexual. That should be a movie. And on top of that, I was hustling. The hobosexual. There were times where I was hustling, and I couldn't put my name on nothing because there, there was no paper trail. Like, what, am, what am, mm -hmm. how, how am I doing this? No, okay, all right, you. I'm, I'm in your crib, technically. You know what I mean? But. Yeah, son. There's chicks out there that, oh yeah, you can come live with me. Hobosexuals, man. They out there. I'm telling you, there's nothing in the world. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you. The broke niggas, they be giving it up. You know it. You know, because they started laughing. You was like, burn. Burn. I just kicked that nigga out last, last week, man, but that shit, oh, I miss it. I'm texting the nigga right now. Yeah, if you want, you can come back. <laughs> What's up, big head? <laughs> I, still, I still got your sneakers here. You're going to come pick them up. Yeah, pick up the sneakers. <laughs> oh, that's the sneaker trick. Oh, Yo, you, oh, yeah, you left this. <laughs> you can get in the door. She's coming out the shower, ironically. Right. Like, I, I, this is a metro car from two years ago. I don't, I don't need okay, this right, metro cool. car. All right, time to pay the rent. Time to pay the rent. <laughs> 